Hi guys. Well, should be a spectacularly over the top beautiful day, gorgeous day here in the end times. Little bit smoky. A little bit smoky here on uh, this otherwise beautiful Friday afternoon, August 16th. So, uh, I guess uh, <coughs> ham bones, no tell motel, uh, did not get off to a roaring start today. Uh, so the, the whole story about this, so uh, a while back, uh, this woman getting married tomorrow booked seahorse on Saturday night tomorrow night for her wedding night so we are having our very first wedding night at bugs in a jar farm and uh, there was this other couple scheduled to be there tonight uh, then just with no explanation whatsoever they just canceled three days ago no explanation so what the hell uh, it was you know they had missed their cancellation thing I, I you know I would have worked something out with them but they had no interest in working anything out so I kept that money and uh, said well what the hell I'd already gotten paid for it and then, uh, so Airbnb puts it back up on the calendar. And then uh, yesterday, I, uh, for the first time ever, for the first time ever in my life, I get this very, uh, shall we say, delicately worded, obviously coded message from this dude. He lives right here in Ithaca and he wanted to rent seahorse from noon to 4 p.m. today. Uh, he, he wanted a four hour rental on seahorse and uh, you know, I, he goes, I understand that I'm paying the full amount, uh, which is right at $100. So the guy sends me a hundred dollars and probably twenty more dollars to Airbnb so I figure he's got a hundred and twenty dollars into this this dude for his little uh, <coughs> his little tryst with his uh, w with his girlfriend uh, from noon to four today <coughs> and I'm thinking to my Jesus Christ here I am uh, you know, is this what I have become? <clears throat> Changing sheets at uh, at Hampton's No Tell Motel. So uh, I put on clean sheets for them th th this morning. Uh, have everything ready. <clears throat> so the car pulls up at noon, and it's just the guy. And I, I said what are you flying solo and he goes no uh, she should be right behind me uh, and uh, should be showing up anytime and <clears throat> I said well uh, I said let me go ahead and show you the place and then uh, you can just take it uh, from here you know with her telling her how to get here and whatnot and but I mean she knew how to get here everything he said no problem everything is fine so he he comes here at noon absolutely loves the place it is exactly what uh, what he and his uh, his little uh, love bunny uh, were looking for a, a completely private hidden a uh, secret little hideaway in the woods uh, for a Friday afternoon <clears throat> afternoon delight as that obnoxious song used to call it so 
I head back down to the house and I, I'm just going about my business and at two o'clock uh, so, I, so I'm down at the house I'm actually uh, sitting there eating a BLT at two o'clock and the dude comes and, and the dude it just comes walking up scared the shit out of me and, and, and I said uh, I said well I'm surprised to see you down here Dude, I, I said, what's going on? And, and apparently, uh, she got cold feet. Uh, <laughs> she got cold feet, and uh, he was stood up for his little tryst at Hambone's Motel Motel. And uh, I, I, I said, dude, uh, here's my phone number. Uh, I, I, I said, just call me uh when you when you work this out with your girlfriend and uh we'll make an afternoon for you guys next week so uh anyway he seemed quite happy with with my kind offer so uh i guess uh hambone's no tell motel crashed and burned on its opening day so tomorrow we have uh, the blushing bride and her new husband showing up at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. <clears throat> and she has not told her, her husband has no idea where he is spending his wedding night. No idea. Uh, she's telling him he will love it and she is assuring me he will be thrilled to be spending his wedding night with the outhouse at a, <laughs> at bugs in a jar farm so uh we will see if uh we have a domestic dispute on uh on the wedding night i i i just said darling i I, I, I said any marriage that uh, where the wedding night where the bathroom is an outhouse with two five gallon buckets uh, I, I said obviously you and that man uh, must be in love and she s said they were and they had no problem with five gallon buckets no uh, in interruption to the uh, to the romance anyway I am so happy to uh, I am so happy to uh, help people with their little uh, their, their little no tell motel tryst and their uh, <coughs> and their wedding nights I just love uh, all of the uh, all of the sex that everybody except me is having at Bugs in a Jar Farm. <laughs> but right now I have a, an ice cream sandwich with my name on it to get out there and enjoy while I still can. And uh, we have a garage sale. Can't pass that up. My gosh.